There are surely more entire worlds in the observable universe than there are grains of sand on this one. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most disturbing scientific discoveries. Climate change has also caused the sea level to rise. Just in the last century, sea levels have risen 6.7 inches. For this list, we'll be looking at the scariest and strangest things that scientists have ever discovered. What's the most bizarre science fact you know? Share it with us in the comments. Number 10. Supervolcano under Yellowstone As the first national park in the United States, Yellowstone is known for its incredible wildlife, picturesque landscapes, and stunning geothermal features, specifically geysers. Old Faithful and the other geysers and hot springs are the result of volcanic activity under the park. The Yellowstone supervolcano has had three super eruptions in the past 2.1 million years, and scientists believe that all three events led to extinctions and changes in worldwide weather patterns. Because its eruptions can eject nearly 250 cubic miles of ash, dust, and gas. While another super eruption is unlikely to happen anytime soon, and the area is under constant supervision, the next major event could significantly alter the world as we know it. Natural systems uh, can, can throw us a lot of curveballs. A lot of things can happen that we're not really ready for. Number nine, black holes. While black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, even Einstein was skeptical. In 1971, however, several researchers confirmed that an astronomical object discovered in the previous decade was in fact a black hole. It is the fabric of the space-time continuum warped back on itself. And once you fall in, you are never coming out. Black holes are the result of stars exploding into supernovas at the end of their life cycles, and those supernovas in turn collapsing in on themselves. They are areas with extraordinary mass and such powerful gravitational forces that not even light can escape their pull. Go to maximum warp! Push it! I'm giving it all she's got, Captain! The largest kind, supermassive black holes, have the same mass as several million suns. These enormous objects are large enough to absorb stars. So it's no wonder they feature in so many terrifying science fiction scenes. Number eight, lingering radioactivity. The lingering potency of radioactive material is pretty disturbing. An extraordinary example comes from the fate of Marie Curie, a brilliant scientist who conducted pioneering research into radioactivity. They emit rays. I have called this radioactivity. The aplastic anemia that caused her death in 1934 was tied to long-term exposure to radioactive materials and x-rays. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? And you're sure, you're sure of it? I'm certain. Yes. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. To this day, her cookbooks and papers from the 1890s are still considered dangerously radioactive and can only be handled when wearing special protective clothing. Both Curie's remains and her papers are stored in lead lining due to their lingering radioactivity. It's crazy to think how long radioactivity can remain, but at least we now have the knowledge and tools to avoid it in high doses. What are you doing? These are radiation burns. Their clothes are contaminated. Help me! Get it all off. Number seven, germs. The idea that tiny organisms invisible to the naked eye sneak inside us and make us sick only achieved widespread acceptance relatively recently, in the late 19th century. So let's say that this guy has the flu, could be any flu, and here's a droplet from his sneeze containing, if we move in and take a really close look, you see each one of those little purple things is a virus. Maybe that's because when you think about it, it's so damn creepy. Before then, the miasma theory dominated thought, teaching that illness was the result of bad air. Now we know that microorganisms are to blame, invading our bodies in various ways, infiltrating our airways or hitching a lift in our food. From mild colds to devastating illnesses, germs can cause all sorts of maladies. Of course, now that we know that germs are there, we've been able to develop effective treatments for many of them. But it's still an unnerving discovery. Whoa, no, germs. Number six, scale of the universe. 
Only in the last century have we come to realize just how old and enormous the universe is. Consider this grain of sand held at arm's length. In that tiny area, there are almost 10,000 entire galaxies. That's a quadrillion stars and as many planetary systems. They say it's a small world, but even our home planet is big enough to house billions of us. Our beautiful sun is massive compared to Earth, but it's tiny compared to the rest of the galaxy, which contains over 100 billion other stars. Beyond our own Milky Way, there are several hundred billion other galaxies across the known universe, estimated to be about 46.5 billion light years across. This is the cosmos on the grandest scale we know, a network of 100 billion galaxies. Beyond that, the vastness of space continues, with a total diameter of at least 23 trillion light years. Just thinking about it makes our heads spin. I'm freaking out! Number five antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Antibiotics are, without a doubt, one of the most amazing discoveries in medicine and have saved millions of lives. Unfortunately, as medicine advances, so do the things that make us sick. The bug has this sort of this intrinsic or innate programming to try to survive, like all of us. That's what we do as living organisms. Uh, and the best way we learn how to survive is through adaptation. Antibiotics are seriously overprescribed and this has helped germs evolve to become resistant to their effects. Clostridium difficile, which causes deadly diarrhea, is up 400% since 2007, and 67% of Salmonella typhi cases are resistant to at least one antibiotic. While antibacterial products are incredible, the more we use them, the stronger superbugs become. We're not saying you should stop washing your hands or anything, but maybe reach for a non-antibacterial soap if you can the next time you lather up. Number four, the powerful unconscious mind. We like to think that we're in charge of our own minds and decisions. We don't really understand what is influencing our thoughts, our perceptions, our feelings, our judgments. And so that has a huge effect on our behavior. But in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Austrian psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud popularized the idea that a vast unconscious mind directs our actions. What we perceive isn't really what, what, what the data that it's literally out there but it's a construction that our minds make using our imagination. It's not really what's there. In the late 1970s, American neuroscientist Benjamin Libet conducted a famous experiment that seemed to show that unconscious processes precede conscious decisions. Of course, advertisers have known this for a long time, taking advantage to create positive associations with their products. On the upside, some studies have shown that relying on your unconscious mind can result in better decision making, especially when it comes to complex decisions. These subliminal aspects of everything that happens to us may seem to play very little part in our daily lives, but they are the almost invisible roots of our conscious thoughts. Number three, dark matter and dark energy. Scientists believe that dark matter makes up 27% of the observable universe and dark energy 68%. What are they, you ask? No one knows. There's something else there. There's something beyond the galaxies that we see, the visible matter. We've known about dark matter since the 1930s when astronomers realized that galaxies would behave differently without the gravitational effects of unseen matter. But we do know dark matter is there in the same way that we know the wind is there because we see the trees move. We have so much evidence for it, including the fact that the gravity it generates is literally holding the cosmos together. Our knowledge of dark energy is more recent. In 1998, researchers discovered that the rate at which the universe is expanding is accelerating. The leading explanation is that the cause is an unknown form of energy. At the end, we concluded that actually the universe really isn't slowing down. It's actually speeding up in its expansion. That means that only about 5% of the universe is made up of something that we somewhat understand. Number two, mass extinctions. Life finds a way, right? Well, not all the time. Thanks to the work of paleontologists, we now know that there have been at least five periods throughout history where countless species have disappeared off the face of the planet. The worst that we know about, the Permian-Triassic extinction 250 million years ago, killed off 90% of the planet's species. Right before the biggest ex extinction event ever, the Permian-Triassic mass extinction, there were huge diversities of different types of animals. The most recent was the Cretaceous tertiary extinction that killed off the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Famously, there was a big asteroid impact, probably the biggest asteroid impact in the last half a billion years. Many scientists believe that due to human activity, the Earth is currently experiencing a sixth mass extinction, 
with about 900 species disappearing in the last five centuries and one million more now at risk. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, climate change. From receding glaciers to more intense hurricane seasons, we see the impacts of climate change everywhere. While Earth does have natural cycles of changing temperatures, this warming cycle is unlike anything the planet has ever experienced. Climate change as we know it today is characterized by an abrupt increase in the Earth's temperature. It is estimated to have gotten 1.2 to 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit warmer in just the last century. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels have released massive amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, causing major changes since the 19th century. The more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the more heat gets trapped, strengthening the greenhouse effect and increasing the Earth's temperature. With skyrocketing greenhouse gases, it's no wonder we're experiencing drastic shifts in the planet's climate. While there are efforts to reduce the amount of warming we'll see in the coming years, they're currently not enough to achieve the goals established by the Paris Agreement. When it comes to climate change, the main takeaway is that it's real. And although we are part of the cause, we can also be part of the solution. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.